I would like to ask a question about uh, waste management. Uh, we all know the saying, cleanliness is next to godliness. So our present Prime Minister Modi ji has uh, proposed a clean India drive. We all are participating in this according to our own capacities. So uh, my question is this, how can we make, a, make our country a clean India by uh, the each family and each person uh, should participate in it. Uh, sir, how can you, uh, sir, can you make uh, uh, this uh, practical implementations of this uh, drive? Okay, thank you, Father. What your question is waste management. How can we keep our India clean? You go to any house in any village, you find family members taking bath daily. You go to any home, you find the housewife sweeping the floor, you know the cow dung they take and uh, try to paste it in the ground so that they consider it to be healthy, hygienic. So, the cleanliness in each and every Indian home, they perfectly maintain their hair, wash themselves, they be perfectly clean. Every day they clean the vessels housewives. They wash the clothes. In fact, we are much, much better than Americans or any other countrymen, where sometimes they take bath weekly once or ten times once. Jeans is a culture which they used to wear for one month continuously. Never wash, never take bath. But Indians are not like that. They are very clean. The problem here is once again, when it comes to public, they are not ready to keep the public places clean. They are ready to keep themselves clean. They are ready to keep their family clean. They are ready to keep their house clean but they are not ready to keep the public places clean. They are ready to throw the papers out. They are ready to put the waste on the road. So there comes a problem. So when the public is throwing the waste in the public place, whose duty is to clean the roads? Is, the private, is, is it the private people's duty to clean the road or is it the government's duty to clean the road? It is the government's duty to clean the road. You live in a city, you pay corporation tax. You live in a town, you pay the municipal tax. You live in a village, you pay a tax for the village panchayat. And it is their duty to clean the places. That is the reason in Tamil Nadu government you have 16 lakh employees. How many employees? 16 lakhs. In all India level you have crores and crores employees, government employees. And it is their duty. You pay the money. As far as in your home some problem is there and clean, I mean the house is not clean, then you can question, they can question you. When public road some problem happens, why should you blame the public, uh, the people? It is the government's duty where they pay, get the money, tax for cleaning the road, which they are not doing properly. So the administration mistake. So whatever Mr. Modi says, I don't know how far it works, but it is not necessary. It is the duty of the government employees. It is the duty of the people who are getting salaries for the, from the government to keep the road clean, to take the waste and recycle it for some other purpose. So it is not the duty of the private people. The duty of private people is to clean himself and to keep his family clean, to keep his home clean. When it comes to the public, whatever the waste, there is the waste management should be done by the management authorities. That is the government. Problem is that uh, the in a city if there is uh, one like families. If all these families and uh, their waste come to the public road, then uh, that public road will, be, will not. That be is the duty of the government. Uh, what, is the, what is then? What is the duty of the government? What is the duty of the corporation? Uh, I what think the uh, the the here, uh, here the problem is that uh, 
the collection and waste management should be done at the root level that means at the individual's home or in the a premise uh, called that is a panchayat or a municipal area uh, there should be allocated some uh, some uh, uh, some pro- uh, uh, dear friend what you are question is fine but that is the reason we pay the money as a tax number 1 number 2 the government collects all the waste and they pile up in one area and recycle it for some of the process they take electricity out of that you need lot of investment crores of investment so each family taking their waste and recycling it it is not possible at all you need a huge investment for that uh, maybe uh, for a burning getting fuel or something like that you can do to an extent but not fully uh, but uh, problem is that uh, if the wa- when the waste comes out of one's home uh, it, it it will be in the plastic cover uh, in the plastic uh, cover and then the waste cannot be degraded uh, it uh, will rest as it is uh, up to one week or something like that yes, and uh, uh, the, uh, then the all everybody will have to suffer according accordingly uh, in question Uh, there was a, uh, the, like the system uh, this uh, present system uh, government the corporation has to segregate and corporation has to dump the waste uh, everybody is saying that which is corporation's duty uh, but the problem is that uh, when uh, every this 100 families waste come uh, to the public place then government cannot uh, do anything or corporation cannot do anything my dear friend not only 100 family there are around 1 crore family and all the waste put by the one crore family it is the duty of the government employees to clean it that is their duty they must to do that is the why they are getting the salary you get the salary that they get the people are paying the tax you get the salary you don't do the work you are not ready to clean the streets and you sit there it is your mistake it is not the public's mistake Uh, i think uh, uh, if we shift this duty to everybody's family then uh, there will be there will be everybody should take care of their family he has to earn uh, other money. otherwise uh, there uh, uh, there are so many pockets one, one minute so simple it is so simple there is nothing law argumentative about it i think it is not practical thing, no 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 corporation in chennai corporation 20000 employees are working how many employees 20000 employees are working it is the work of the du- chief minister duty is to take care of country mls duty is to take care of country ias officers duty is to take care of there is a street councilor ward councilor his duty is to take care of the ward pancha you know in the corporation there is one separate block for each street there is one ward member it is called it is his duty people elect him and he has an officer for each street we have an officer and it is their duty how can the people can take the waste from morning to night he has to work the school children should go for studies the housewife should cook they can't come in the street and sit and take and uh, waste management and do all those things that is the reason they pay an amount it's their duty isn't it so they can use the waste bins or uh, things or which a government plays yes role. see simple thing it is the duty of government it is not the duty the duty of private people is to keep himself clean to answer our friends question i have one see every street they are putting uh, dust bins okay so but it, you cannot even uh, go near to the dust bin it is very dirty over surroundings and you cannot uh, throw your uh, wastage into the dust bin so, so that No, still, still, uh, still, a lot of people. Yeah, I think we, uh, we shall. Uh, any other questions over here? I think <laughs> we shall go in for next. Any other questions over here? Yes, please come forward. Yes, uh, he has one other question. Hello. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Myself, Manoj, and today I like to raise the question regarding the. whether we should give the money to the beggars so since from my childhood i have seen many children men and women are begging in the railway stations or bus stands so 
whether we have to give the money for the beggars. So one side, I feel that I should not give money because they might misuse it. And other side, I feel I should give the money. So what should we do now in this situation? Okay. So Manoj's question is whether we should offer arms or money to the poor people or the beggars. Whether we should give money to the beggars, this is the question. Is it lawful or unlawful? Should I give or shouldn't I give? If I give, am I spoiling them? Or if I don't give, is it a sin? See, Buddha walked out of his palace, a king. He started doing begging. Their begging is different. Only one meal per day. They should beg. They should stay for three days in a place. And after three days, they have to switch on to some other place. After three days, if they stay, it will be like an attachment to the, towards the place. So, their policy of begging is just a meal. They are sadhus. They want to give some social service. So, coming here, begging in different forms are there. In temples, you see, there is a hundi kept asking the people to put the money. Even gods are run by begging. So, God is also doing the same thing. It is also in the church. They expect money. Everywhere, expectations are there. Government is asking money. Everybody are asking. It is called dependent and independent. In the sense, even we, as a dependent, we ask money from our father, mother, brother, sister. Indiv as, a, you know, as you grow older, after the age of 60, we ask money from our parents, or sorry, sons and daughters. So, if you say begging as such, the different causes and different purposes are there. In the streets you find, somebody throws them out for food they beg. Natural causes may be there. They may be handicapped, unable to walk. There are people who misuse it and try to live a luxurious life. I believe once they arrested a beggar, he was having a lot of bank account with a lot of money. So, the purpose, the need, it all depends upon why they beg and what is the cause. Of course, we cannot do a research, but just by seeing them, we can understand. If he is really handicapped, which he is unable to work, then you can give something, offer something. If he is very old man, very old lady, you can give something. But if you find a healthy man, very healthy man, and by the look on his face, you can understand, he is asking money for being idly spending his time, for wastefully spending his time, then you don't do that. You look at them. And whoever deserves, then nothing wrong in giving. Whoever deserves, you can offer. It's a good thing. It's a good thing of offering something. When you see a person and, uh, you know, the needs of him can be exhibited through his eyes. When you see his eyes, you can understand. For them, you can do so, Univism and Univs, we have come here to state once again, being attached to a religion is not religious, it is irreligious. So, religious thoughts, you are a religious person when you accept other religions. If you say you are national, you belong to this, then you are not a national at all. When you are ready to accept others, when your mind is broad, when your views are broad, then you, are, you become a person, a human being. So with this we finish this session. The next session we shall go in for tomorrow. Thank you very much. Uh, task we have to do like that. We have to be coherent and coherent means we have to arrange the idea.